Hey guys, so much because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. This is episode 375, which means it's a world tour episode because we do a world tour every 25 episodes on this series. And I don't think we'll ever see an overviewer version of this world that looks any fuller than this. All of the spaces now are full up. We are basically completed. I don't like to say that because I enjoy it. But we're doing a lot of interiors at the moment. Sure, we're doing a little bit of tweaks to some exteriors. Like we recently just upgraded the exterior to the uh, fire station. I think it looks a lot better. I think it was a good uh, change. But there isn't really much space to build much more on. And uh, people are saying, you know, yeah, add another island. Do a bridge that goes to another island. I could, but we have to we have to think about like an end game <laughs> we can't just keep going on for thousands and thousands of episodes i don't think i've quite got that in me but how cool does this look now like with the trees up here there's a really nice um sort of partition between the dense part of the city and then the not dense part like the tree part up here really reminds me actually of like the grand theft auto 5 map of where the the bottom of the city is like really densely packed and has all the skyscrapers and is the main city and then the top half in gta is very deserty isn't it well instead of a desert we've got like a, a big woods uh, i think it's really cool it's such a cool atmosphere and how you've got to weave all the way up through the woods here past the farmhouse and stuff to get to some of the amenities that people don't really want to look at so we put them nicely out the way i think it's so cool like all the little car parking spots, all the little different designs of buildings, all of the different themes. We've really mixed in like some contemporary style buildings, some modern style buildings, some traditional style buildings, some suburban style buildings. We've sort of got everything all packed into one place. Now, for those of you that don't know, this world or this island is actually as close to 1,000 blocks wide by 1,000 blocks tall. It's literally like <coughs> some single numbers off. Um, in fact, I think it was exactly 1,000 by 1,000, but by the time I've added and taken away like little bits of land here, um, it's, it's like as close to 1,000 by 1,000 as you can get, which is a really nice number. And I think for anybody who wants to do this kind of thing themselves and want to make a world uh, like from scratch like I did, I used World Painter to originally make uh, this island. Uh, it's a program that you can then convert into a Minecraft world. I think a thousand by a thousand is pretty much perfect. This is the how much you can sort of get into it. You know, I can tell you because I've done it. Uh, it's not too big. You don't get lost. You can sort of work out a plan and some order to it, but it's not so small that you fill it up very quickly and, and then you're done. Uh, you know, this has taken four years uh, to do. And admittedly, I haven't been doing it every day, but I, there's 375 episodes of it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a five minute job to fill up. And I think it looks really cool. Like everywhere where you look, there's not like a dull spot. Like you could zoom in here and you're like, oh, look, the cargo port with um, all of the crates and stuff. And then you zoom out and you go, oh, let's zoom in here. And you go, oh, yeah, this is a, the housing estate here. We've got the primary school. We've got like a garage. And you zoom out and you go, oh, I'll zoom in here. And then you've got like the supermarket. You've got the fire, sta uh, the police station. You've got the cinema. You've got the petrol station, the beach with like the, the tiki restaurant up here, or the tiki bar. It's like everywhere you go, there's something unique there. Nothing is sort of repeated. Um, not really any of the buildings are like copied and pasted, at least not exactly. I mean, Rainbow Row has the same houses, but they're, they're different colors. So it sort of makes that a feature. There's no like, oh, I like this house. Let's just copy it and we'll paste it over here. And then I'll get this house and I'll paste it over there. And you sort of cheat uh, a whole estate very quickly everything is all thought out and, and manipulated to how we want you know shape wise and and stuff really cool oh i can show you up here as well this is what the uh, little wind turbines out in the ocean look like really cool wispy looking um blocks you know at, out this far uh, looks really nice i like them up in the corner there they're generating some more wind power we're a very green um city actually a very green island we've got we've got 
wind uh, turbines. We've got the, the ocean turbines for wind. We've got a recycling plant. Admittedly, we do have a space center, but we could say it's a eco-friendly space station. It uses like biomass fuel and stuff and it's super lightweight and a low environmental footprint. Yeah, I think, I think we're quite good. I think it's really nice. The uh, stadium, really nice build still. It's, you know, we built this in a mini separate series. And I think it took, was it, I think it took about 10 episodes to build. Like it really wasn't all that long. And, and we built the majority of it in about three. Um, using some very sort of clever world edit stuff to cheat our way through it. But really nice turnout in the end. Since I'm not an expert with it. Can't forget the big cruise ship. Still a, a series for some reason that still sort of gets views. <laughs> I always seem to get comments on episodes of... Uh, of this um, not quite as many as the zoo series that's still absolutely Kane's views but the um, the cruise ship definitely does uh, does get a lot of views across different episodes as well which is quite quite strange okay so let's jump into Minecraft then and we'll have a wander around we'll see where we sort of end up I don't really have a plan at the moment yeah that's something I should point out as well you know how I just said it's taken 375 episodes to get this far. Actually, it's quite a lot more because the private island that we've got here was done as a separate series. The cargo sh port was done as a separate series. The cruise ship was done as a separate series. The stadium was a separate series. The prison on the other side of the map was a different series. <laughs> so it, it's at least from what i can remember off the top of my head here five different series combined together it's just that this one has 376 the one where we do all the other bits that's crazy i don't know how many i've done on the other ones i think the cruise ship i think the stadium was 10 i think the cruise ship i have, i actually have no idea it couldn't have been more than 30 could it it couldn't have been the cargo ship couldn't have been more than 20 i have no clue i'll have to have a look and the prison can't be any more than 20 i don't know but anyway, I thought we'd have a look from the ocean this time. So we're going to take a speedboat. We're just going to start off here at the private island. A very expensive private island. Lives off the mainland, but is close enough to see all the partying and stuff going on. Has a really nice, fully furnished interior in here. Very nice sort of... Um, uh, I don't know. I, I'd probably call this a mansion. I would call this a mansion. It's really quite sort of sparse, uh, like not sparse, what would be the word? Um, like there's a lot, a big layout to it. <laughs> you can see where I've upgraded the or changed the paintings and stuff over time. There's a now a TV on the wall where I obviously changed that. And I think I saw a medical case instead of a cake on the table. Yeah, where I changed the cake texture to a, a basic sort of medical box. <laughs> we should put those in the hospital actually uh, that would be a great idea and then you can even go um, uh, this way you should really go on the uh, on the decking you can come out the back here and he's got a little farm going on little tractor there puffing away these animals have been here for the entire time it's crazy that they're still here yeah tractor very nice little ladder and stuff to get in that's got a mine cut so you can get in it hey look at that double seats Got a little storage barn in here. Very, very nice. Got the uh, silo. Hey, there's a pig out. Or oh, he's spawned here. And they've got the lighthouse. I don't think we ever done an, in a, an actual interior to this. We've got like a little rickety bridge here. Oh, it looks like we did. Can we go all the way to the top? I need some lighting going on down here. Oh, so we didn't actually do an interior. We just got the, the layout. I'll never be able to get to the lights because I know that was all um, blocked in. Yeah, so this is the top floor. Huh. I, I, I build these things so long ago now that I don't even remember, like, the insides of them now. Oh, come on. Oh, we're out. And then I think you can go down here and it goes to another little dock. Yeah. We've got a little wooden boat down here. I think it's turned as it sort of wobbled over time and stuff. But yeah, another sort of private dock behind the, uh, the main private dock. Anyway. Let's take a, let's take a, a drive whoop, over to the city. 
If I do that, oh, that's the wrong seat. Oh, I for blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, no, that was the right seat. I need that seat. Have we got it? Can we move? Why can't I move? Surely I don't need fuel. Um, that's free. Look. Hey. Let me <laughs> spawn one in. Why can't I ride it? The sounds are working. Um, what do I want? This one. Oh. Now you decide to go, do you? Huh? <laughs> completely strange. Right. Here. Huh? And then here. Huh? There we go. We're away. Awesome. Who is too fast? Slow down. So, we've got the main city docks here of how you can uh, you can enter the city. But uh yeah, I don't think we've really at least for a very very long time for a couple of years done this. So we're going past the, uh, probably the busiest part of the city, I would say. Definitely at night time, I could see this sprawling with uh, university students and uh, and families going to the arcade and stuff. They're going to the cinema. Got the little volleyball court. Really nice big multi-story car park here for easy parking, easy access. Can we go underneath the pier? I'm sure we probably can. We try and sort of aim it up. Some nightclubs. Ooh. There we go. Past uh, Zono City Football Club. Really cool design. I can't remember. I think I sort of melded like five different um, arenas that I like, stadiums that I like the look of, um, and, and sort of took the bits that I wanted and then made like an ultimate uh, stadium out of it. Okay, so this is sort of more of a private beach here. Uh, this is for these houses, which were inspired off um, some Grand Theft Auto V houses, from what I can remember. Uh, very similar to the ones at the start of the game, when you're Franklin and you steal that first car. Um, I sort of have this, this is where you sort of walk down the path and then you sneak down an alleyway like this. And you steal like the two cars that are in the driveway. It's sort of got a little bit of inspiration to that in here. But really, really nice sort of three-story houses here. Each have got their own garage and stuff. This sort of communal back area. And then you've got little private beach huts. It's more it's more of a sort of um elite part of the beach. This is. Look at you don't believe the size of the cruise ship from the um, overviewer version of that uh, of the city. Like until you actually get into the world and realize how enormous this thing is. Ah, woman overboard! Oh my boat! No, my boat! Does it stop or does it keep going? Get it, get it, get it! Sorry, I'll I'll come back for you one day. <laughs> I promise. It fell off the boat. Yeah, it is huge. Now there are cruise ships. Hey, someone walking along there. There are cruise ships that are easily this big uh, in real life. Like cruise ships are enormous. Um, it's it's mental to think that those things float. Okay, so we're coming round the cargo port area here. We've just gone past the factory set. Looks like it's got a giant hole in it, but it's just not loaded in. Ooh, past a little tugboat. Another person overboard. Has this person made it all the way from the cruise ship to here? Probably. That's pretty mental. Okay, I'll come back. I'll save you later as well, I promise. Underneath the crane here. Right by the um, the cargo ship. With all of its um, like containers on them. There's a funny, uh, vid uh, funny image online you guys might be able to find. I saw it like ages ago. And it's a boat that is... That carries these boats on it and those boats are huge and it's like a ship shipping a ship shipping ship or something like that it's like the caption on it really funny okay so we're coming to the sort of inland part or the most inland that we can access 
from the water by going underneath the uh, the road bridge here and the uh, railway bridge but we can't get under the third one because the third one here is in line with the uh, the level of the road it doesn't like incline up or down now in the real world this bridge uh, would lift up it would lift up and then you'd be able to drive through because on the other side of here there is the um, what they called the the canal boats you can see them just over there like the canal boats through there so this would lift up obviously in minecraft we can't do that but yeah i think really cool little design bridge there so if we loop ourselves back out again we're going a bit fast steady on now we've got a, a sailboat here a nice sort of private sailboat and we're still going a little bit fast there we go so to your left, if you look out to your left, uh, this is uh, Grove Street, I think, is there. And then Grove Street, or, or like inspired Grove Street, then backs onto another sort of heavily populated but low income area of houses. And here is the racetrack. Uh, probably like off camera, um, my favourite part of the map, because I actually just like racing round on it. It's really cool to like try and practice to get that right because these minecraft vehicles um they're cool they just don't actually work all that great <laughs> in fairness um the brakes on them are horrendous and that there's no handling or anything like that um it, obviously the game isn't designed for that kind of thing um but with enough practice you can actually get like decent uh at it and i reckon if you had a really big course uh, we could have some cool races going on you can't really see much much through it. It's all treed out. But we can pop ourselves over to the Alcatraz Island style prison. I think there's an... I don't know if there is actually a specific area that we can actually get on. Is there? Did I ever actually build a dock for this place? It doesn't look like it. I think I visited here relatively in depth last time we came, so I'm not going to go too much into it. I suppose it's it's designed for bigger boats, isn't it? Is is what I would assume. You sort of get a bigger boat in here or along the side. You don't really arrive in a speedboat to a uh, to a prison, do you? So sort of sort of fair play. I wanted to keep it as close to the sort of Alcatraz style as I could. Now, I'll have a quick look around the back. We can definitely dr drive past the um, submarine that's out here. But I don't think there's really all that much on this side of the city. Um, I actually like those these little water ports sort of coming out. Um, it, it's definitely an accident for the, that to happen. Uh, I think you'll find that there's probably water pockets in here. Or something where I've sort of edited stuff and it's sort of pulled the water up. I actually like that, how it sort of, it looks like it's draining off the mountain or melting off the, the snow, in a way. Need to do something on the back here still, tree it up or something. I know it's not a part that we ever look at, no one ever sees, but it still sort of sits in my head that we need to do something behind here. Even if it's just planting like as many trees as will grow there. We've done around the back here now, there's another boat that I've abandoned at some point. Sort of like a little war boat with some guns on it. But yeah, this is all treed up nicely, sort of densely forested around the back here now. Could definitely stick some nice hidden Easter eggs in here because it's actually really difficult to access. You know, you can only really access here either from a boat and then climbing up or if you walk maybe from the base of the mountain, from the little hotel at the base of the mountain. Um, not really many other ways that you could access here because of the fence at the airport. And this fence here at the uh, at the water treatment plant. So maybe we could hide something in there. I don't know, some little, some little huts or something. Little forest tree huts. Could we call like little hunting cabins for deer and stuff? I can imagine could be on this side. So water treatment plant. This was inspired off uh, city skylines. Um, not even the base game. I think it was mostly the sort of... Um, workshop assets that other people have made sort of inspired that and then we come round to the space center still needs uh, actually something done on this because 
the main shuttle, the actual space rocket, isn't actually being held up by anything. Um, stop, 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 stop. It's actually sort of basically being suspended by this bridge. Um, but as you can see, it's it's floating <laughs> and uh, and doesn't sort of connect anywhere. I think we need to have some um, some struts that sort of start at the bottom and go up and then connect across to the here. At least one on this side and one on the other side. Um, I think they usually have one either on the back or on, on the sort of top as well. Um, but I keep forgetting to do that. I really keep forgetting to do that. Okay, so we might as well, you know what? Go back to the island now that we've made it all the way around. And th another good thing about the size of this city, how I was saying about like um, a thousand by a thousand blocks, is it takes a decent amount of time to get around. It doesn't take a minute to be able to, you know, fly around the outside of it. Uh, it takes a little while to, to see everything and, and work your way around. Uh, but it also doesn't take an absolute age and there's loads of space between one thing and the next um, otherwise it becomes boring uh, to go around and look at that we made it back to the uh, to the broken boat that won't go anywhere looks like he needs to uh, repair it <laughs> a little bit more okay so does the private island have a helipad it doesn't it ha it doesn't have a helipad um, okay no problem I shall you know what let's teleport to the airport Oops, uh, like that, that, airport, and we shall pinch ourselves a helicopter, and probably walk through here, I think. Ding, ding, ding. Um, how do I get through? If I go through those doors, and then out here. Yes, and we get out to the back of the runway. Excellent. Um, I'm going to take a helicopter just because they're a little bit easier to fly than a plane. Hey, you know what? No, I'm going to take a plane. It's been ages since I've taken a plane. We'll take a small plane. I'll take one like that. Just this one. It's been ages. Helicopters, they're easier to fly and stuff, but planes can just be funner. Funner? Is that a word? Okay, let's pop this down here. I don't know what way it places. It places that way. We shall hop in. This is the driver's seat. Good. Okay, so... Uh, Oscar, Oscar 5, ready to departure. I, I'm terrible at this, by the way. Like, I don't know the the words for this kind of stuff. Okay, if uh, you make a right-hand turn here and put yourself onto runway, I don't even know what the number is, 27, something like that, I think, 27 or 09. And uh, if you just wait at the end of the taxiway for clearance, just make sure there's no other aircraft in the area coming into land, and we'll get you guys on your way. What number is it? It is number 9 on this side. I think it's number 27 on the other side. Very difficult to taxi. Okay, if you just hang on here, you are cleared to enter the runway. Yeah, around here. Try not to get the blur. Ooh, turn. Turn, 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 turn. Hey, like a boss. Okay, and uh, when you're ready, if you want to throttle up, release your brakes, and uh, we'll get you guys airborne. It's my... It's my... um. What's it called? What, what are they call in the tower? My tower voice. That is, yeah, that is. Oh, they went for the tower, isn't it? Oh, we're up. We're we're away. Hey, hey. Okay, so I can sort of steer like this in free cam mode, but it's it. You get a better turn like this. I suppose we could go F. Can I go F five and zoom out? Yes. <laughs> okay, just slow down a little bit. So. This is over the fun. Uh, faster, 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 faster. Go up. Go. <laughs> okay, I need to find that sort of perfect balance point for the throttle. Uh, I slowed down again. I shouldn't have slowed down. I shouldn't have slowed down. We should. We should get this. We should get this. So slow down a little bit. See, that's the trouble with the planes is that the world now doesn't load fast enough. Maybe we need to uh, bring it in for a landing, and we'll use a helicopter. Maybe that is the better idea. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down here. On the beach, yep, absolutely perfect landing. Keep it on, keep it on, keep it on, keep it on, keep it on the beach. We're sliding on the sand. 
Okay, let's get a helicopter. <laughs> uh, just a little one. Um, that one. Um, let's go for this one. Boop. Uh, what do I want to do? Up. Nope. No, 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 no. Um, there we go. Up. That's the one. So if you fly over the stadium, I think that would be cool to sort of look in from above. Um, how do I, how do I turn the, how do I turn the the whole thing? I want to go that way. Hovering space. Huh? I can't like turn. Am I being an idiot? I want to go over that way. Okay, we'll just fly it sideways then. Hey, what do you think of that? <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh, and it's all glitchy up here as well. Oh, the shader pack is having a nightmare. Ah, I found it. I've got it. I've done it. Hey, we can now turn. It's control. Okay. So, we're going to try and do the, uh, the challenge I try to do every time that I'm in a helicopter. And I fail most of the time. And it's to land on top of one of the skyscrapers. I think the maze bank is always the goal, but there might be a helicopter up there already. There is, there is a helicopter up there already. We'll have to find another one. Oh no, that one's also got a helicopter already on it. There's gotta be another one with a helipad, right? If not, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to break it off or something. Okay, ooh, ooh, there's gun, ooh, I just hit. I just uh, fired a rocket, I think. That was lucky. That will actually do damage. Okay, I tell you what. Let's um, let's set her down. Let's just get it down here. Well, I didn't really want to completely turn the entire thing off. Flat landing. You know what? That couldn't have been more um, uh, more soft if I tried. Okay, let's just fly up here. We'll get this helicopter off. We'll try and do this challenge. So, very densely packed uh, skyscraper area here. Uh, when you're walking through it on the floor and you look up, it's crazy like how tall these buildings are. This is the tallest one in the city. Uh, another inspiration from Grand Theft Auto V, uh, being the, the Maze Bank, which is actually inspired of a real life building. Um, so, that is sort of a, a, double, a double inspiration in a way. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again in the bell turn that off now i don't know what the easiest way to do this is it would f5 be easier to have it so we can sort of see the outside of us or would inside be better because it might be more precise <laughs> no oh my oh my just go up Stop floating back and forward. Maybe um, maybe being inside of it is a little bit trickier than I thought. Yeah, no, we're going outside. I, I think I can, like, level myself out. Yeah. Like, naturally, I could just sort of use it better. Maybe if I uh, had uh, my HUD on when I was inside, I'd be able to use the instruments a little bit better. Okay, so this looks incredibly, like, easy. I just make it look hard, uh, I'm sure. But uh, in actuality... These aren't the easiest things to fly, so you've got to come in just gently and slowly. Probably should tap space to enter hover mode, which will stop me sort of floating about. I can now sort of aim myself. Oh, I tell you what, I might bang this first time. A little bit forward, a little bit to the right. Yeah, come out of hover mode. And just bring it down nice and gently. I tell you what, I'm getting better at this. You couldn't ask for that. It's nearly perfectly on the H. Let me get actually a really nice view from up here. You can get a decent um, uh, view. This is limited to the render distance maximum setting on this version of Minecraft, which is. Oops, I got. 
Achoo! Achoo! Oh, I sneeze. That was just 16 chunks. Um, it's the maximum that, that we can get. I don't think I can force it any bigger in this version of Minecraft by changing any, any code or anything like that. Someone said recently you should try and upgrade the city to the most recent version of Minecraft to get all the new blocks and stuff. Yeah, that would be really cool, apart from it breaks all of the mods. Uh, these mods were made for this version of Minecraft, and they don't work with uh, any other ones, let alone these super new ones. Bit unfortunate, really. What does it do if we put clouds on? Like, why do I have clouds off? Do I have them off because I just don't like them? Like, the clouds are at, like, a nice height. Like, we're above the clouds here. It's crazy how tall we are. But they pass over most things, like the cathedral and stuff. I think I just, I, I think I probably have it off for planes and stuff mostly, to be fair. But yeah. Anyway, let's uh, parachute down from here. I think that parachute is the one we want. And I think if we jump off. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> we can uh, parachute our way down. Sort of go around this corner by the cathedral here. Just around the corner. Oh, look at that. Lovely job. Can I zoom in now? Oh, I can zoom in like this. There we go. We're back to we're back to normal camera. Awesome. I don't know what else I wanted to do. You guys have seen um this part of the city very recently with with actually in the middle of doing a bungalow interior. Uh that one right there, I think. Uh, we've done the fire station recently here as well. Uh, so this side of the city has been pretty much sort of uh, covered quite a lot. So maybe, I'll tell you what, we'll go to the uh, the racetrack. That's where we'll go. We'll have a fly over here. This is the canal boat area that we couldn't quite get to when we were in the boat. Uh, with the skate park and some, some activities here for the local youths past the hospital which we're really close to completing we're not far off now probably has enough episodes that it should be should have been its own series but it doesn't matter how to build a hospital could have been one okay so if we grab ourselves a i don't actually know what the um cars are called um i think it's in this page we'll grab a blue one and we shall pop ourselves down on the grid try and get pole position i'll tell you what wheels are bang on that line i think it should be the nose cone though not the wheels but it doesn't matter okay so the lights are red we're waiting at the start line AJ set the fastest lap in qualifier, giving him pole position. He should be in for a good race. These engines are revving. It's red, 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 green. And here away. AJ's off to a great start. He's cutting in the corner. He's taking a little bit easier on this first lap because he doesn't want to embarrass himself and crash on camera. Hitting the apex really well, though. Oops. Uh, finger slipped through the little chicane here has to break heavy to get around this right-handed hairpin maybe it overdrives the car a little bit using all the road good apex there puts his foot down gets a little bit of speed cutting and again for the left through the tire bridge very difficult braking area easy to slide the uh, the tail out around there the uh, chicane at the back end very fast paced chicane you can actually get through there very well if you hit it right around the final hairpin don't go into the pits and he's across done for the first lap so now he's got a little bit of practice in he's gonna go a bit faster a little bit over the sand there would have lost traction uh also has still got his morning voice because he hasn't been up long and he wanted to record this video great chicane there while not really concentrating all that well again apex all oh, catches the wall it spun him out and he's crashed aj's out of the race unbelievable scenes here at the uh, Zono racetrack and the ambulances and the fire engines are on their way over he'll be fine he'll live to race another day <laughs> oh it's really fun really cool and uh, we can even go underneath the tunnel here as well um, grab a car 
Uh, McLaren F1, apparently, we've got. I mean, go through the tunnel in order to uh, to get out of here as well. Let's go on the right side of the road, shall we? We uh, we drive on the left here in the UK, so it'll be confusing any of you US viewers. Hey, look at that, and we're out. So we're right near the uh, the high school here. Okay, as soon as we're in a McLaren, we should really get ourselves onto the um, the motorway, which is not that way. <laughs> it's this way. I need to somehow like get onto the road that's the other side of this school. And we'll have a quick lap around the motorway to finish up, I think. Let's turn that off. Oh, I can't turn my HUD off when I'm inside the car? Apparently not. Okay, seem so to come down here. And then we make another left here. Excellent, let's put the foot down, let's get some real speed going. We uh, we go up the, the incline to the top of the motorway. A lot of room here, we shouldn't ever crash. <laughs> It'd be insane to. Let's go like this as well. <laughs> These cars are so cool. My favourite car mod is this mod. Um, the, the models of the cars are really nice models, but they also stick to like the Minecraft aesthetic, uh, you know, the sort of pixel look, they don't try and go too realistic like one of the other mods that I've got does, but they're more detailed than the mod that these come uh, in, the the cars with the racing cars in it are a little bit um, too sort of saturated in colour a lot of the time, they're a little bit too basic, this is like the really nice balance, and then the, uh, the vehicles that look extremely like their real life counterparts are sort of too realistic. Okay, what about that? Fast lap around there. I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. What a fantastic 375 episodes we have experienced. Um, here's to a another 25 more, at the very least. Uh, it would be nice to uh, get to episode 400. I think it might be a nice place to stop. I don't know. We'll see how we're feeling at the time. We'll see what you guys have to say. But, uh, yeah... 375 episodes chalked off if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already feel free to subscribe and we shall see you in the next episode